Okay, aloha and welcome. This is my way of getting your attention. Thank you for joining today's live stream. My name is Master Paul and if you haven't figured out already, today's subject matter is what is a Tao source field. So the idea of putting up the words in the front is so that people will actually turn on the sound and pay attention. The information that will be shared today could change your life. There has been some significant um, blessings brought to humanity, I guess is a good way to put it, uh, in the form of uh, frequencies, healing, things of that nature. And when you know what is a Tao source field and where to find a Tao source field, you can have some significant, significant uh, benefits to your life. So today I'll be talking about what it is, why it's important to not only your physical health, but your emotional health. There's a great deal of emotional blockages today, the mental well-being, and of course to your spiritual journey. Uh, a Tao source field can actually bless your finances in ways you cannot comprehend. Also a Tao source field can heal relationships. So there is little that is limited by a Tao source field. There's quite a bit of difference between that and what others might in their head be thinking. Some people might say, oh, that sounds like a scalar energy wave, or it sounds like a, um, you know, a scalar field or any other number of verbiages that is familiar to their thinking. And I can assure you it is substantially different than that. <clears throat> Today's wisdom and teachings will be a little bit um, advanced so it might uh, it might catch some people off guard it might be awakening and enlightening uh, might challenge a few people's perspectives and belief systems uh, but regardless it's an important uh, slice of wisdom that needs to be shared and so i hope that you get as much out of this as i hope you uh of my intention for you to receive today because there are so many people that are suffering all over the world and, uh, and so many people that are completely unaware of the uh, very effective solutions for their suffering. And it's just really important they become aware of what is a Tao source field. So at least then they can make a choice, they can make some decisions about how to, um, how to potentially save their lives and bring in far greater experiences. So aloha to Kate and Nicole, welcome. Welcome also to Susan Birchmore. Hi, Jessica, welcome Mary Vasek. Welcome also to CJ, welcome Tammy Hunter. Welcome Pat, aloha Kristen Rojas. Welcome Rianne and aloha Dana Knapp. Welcome Sherry Mirizzi, Mirizzi, I think I said that right, Shelly Mirizzi. Uh, welcome Abby. And also welcome to Elizabeth. Aloha, Linda Martinez. Welcome, Angie Taylor. Hi, Julia. And welcome, Maddie DeGuilo. Welcome to Janice Crosby. And Aloha, Archana, coming in early from India. Welcome, Robin. And welcome also to Kayla Stewart. Hi, Afrosini. Good to see you. Thank you all for joining today. It is a Wednesday in the Americas they call it hump day. Maybe they call it that elsewhere, but it basically means the middle of the week and getting past that little gap. For probably the majority of you watching today, you've already completed your work day and this is your wind down time, your opportunity to chill out and get a little blessings. So welcome, I hope that I'm able to provide that for you today. I've got my five element tea. This is actually a good example of a Tao source field. Going back about four, maybe five years ago at a teaching, Aloha Nita, at a teaching uh, with my teacher, Master Shah. We were in Belgium at the time. And you know, in Europe, they're very big on their teas. And so somebody came up with the brilliant idea <coughs> of blessing tea uh, with frequencies, dried teas, of course. Uh, and welcome John Crowley, welcome Nebadita. And so um, because Master Shah is from the East 
he understands traditional Chinese medicine. So he was focusing on uh, the blessings of the metal element, the water element, the fire element, um, and the various elements, which of course have direct associations to the health and wellness of the major organs and systems. And so I bought those. And so what I do is I put all five of those elements together, make a big one gallon batch and then sip on it throughout the day when I remember. And it does help create a nice Tao source field. So that will be the subject matter today. Thank you all for joining. Welcome also to Kristen Strachan and Candy Cornett. Thank you all. I hope you had a chance to see yesterday's live stream. Uh, it was a very good one. It was on the comprehension of Tao science. Um, Tao science, there's really no one way to put it. Uh, I flowed uh, one sentence that I was suggesting to the local team here for placing on Facebook as a, as a marketing sentence so that people could grasp what is Tao science. And um, I have to grab it. Give me a moment. Bridging the gap between religion and spirituality with the secrets of the Tao. So it's actually very, very uh, powerful. And so if you haven't already signed up for it, do consider uh, this weekend workshop. Um, Friday night is, is complimentary and then the weekend it's $100 for a Saturday and a Sunday and you get a guest pass. I'm not sure if that applies to the webcasters or not. Um, it's only $70 for the webcasters. So if you can afford it, it's a, it's a very exceptional way to get the, some of the highest level wisdom that's being released. And in actuality, um, I've been told that the new book coming out, um, So Mind Body Science, is related to karma and karma uh, explanations from the scientific levels. And that uh, Dr. Master Wu Lin will be releasing information from this new book. This is the first time that she's been approved to release it. So pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, so the teas, unfortunately, I don't believe they're available anymore. So sorry to set, uh, wet your whistle there. I was just commenting because it does create a Tao field. It's an example. <clears throat> okay. So thank you all for joining. Let us go ahead and connect. If I haven't mentioned your name yet, please forgive me. I love you all. And I'm very grateful for your presence. Thank you also for sharing, hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Um, we'll go ahead and place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of the heart center with our right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Uh, and this connects heaven into our heart center. Let's close our eyes, take a deep breath in, release the day, become fully present. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. Dear the soul of blood, mother earth, father heaven, all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, saints, sifus, kahunas, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. You may name your own special shurfus. Some people align to beloved Jesus. Some people align to beloved Buddha. Please name them, call them, ask them to be present. We love you all, honor you all, respect you. We ask for your presence at this time. We ask that you come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to fully uh, comprehend the wisdom that will be shared today. Bless us to open not only our hearts, but our minds so that we have a deeper understanding of the divine and the delivery of divine and Tao, wisdom, power, and frequency. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please also borrow my mouth, allow me to speak in the highest, best, and most appropriate way to, uh, to share this wisdom that can serve the most souls. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on. Please offer blessing to all souls in all universes and align our hearts and souls as one. So for those that are new watching for the first time, this is a blessing. Uh, make a request. Everyone else, please join in. Let us offer this service. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. 
ลูลาฮาลีลูลาลูลาฮาลีลูลาโอไอวอเชนเอร์ลิงโอไอทรานรันเลยฮองลีฮิงรงเฮอร์มูเชอร์ชังชังไอพิงอเนเซชังไอพิงอเนเซ I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, welcome, Troy Schmidt. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sharing. Aloha, Johnny. Welcome, Monica. Aloha, Joy San Bordelon. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, staying. And aloha, Monica. Great to see you. Yes, that's a beautiful song. It is a healing mantra, and it's a good example of where I can start out by talking about a Tao source field. So uh, today's subject is: What is a Tao source field? Why is it important to understand it, and how can it serve you? So, in order to understand what is a Tao source field, <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through a progression of understanding that certainly half of you already understand, and maybe the other half understand portions of, and maybe half of that other half it'll be new information. Regardless, hopefully it will awaken your uh, your comprehension to where when I explain. Uh, the Tao source field I am referring to, you will have a great appreciation for it. Okay, so a Tao source field is a frequency. It is a very exceedingly high frequency that, when we step into that Tao source field through one way or the other, because there's many ways to step into that field or have it surround us, but when we step into that Tao source field, there is a great possibility. Of a release of virtually all things that create suffering in your world. So, for those who have been watching, for those that uh, that are uh, uh, aware in life, in that they recognize that life doesn't just happen to them; that there is a precursor to life happening to them. That being a manifestation. A spiritual virtue, spiritual debt. In other words, nothing is accidental. It all comes about as a result of a, of a, a very large game plan. Um, and so, when we uh, recognize as a whole that life is not accidental, that life has a plan, and that as a soul, which we all are in a physical experience, we are going through a series of um, um, remembering. What we're here for, as well as a, a purification process, and that purification process is literally about clearing our spiritual debt, opening our heart and soul, clearing the other uh, blockages through our entire energetic vehicle, and reaching layers of enlightenment to the point where, when we are finally 100% fully enlightened, meaning we are a uh, the equivalent of a crystal body, one that can disappear and reappear at will. Um, When we completely are enlightened, that's when we have accomplished this task. This between here and there. So a Tao source field allows us, wherever we're at in our soul journey, to substantially facilitate the clearing of the blockages between here and that ultimate goal. If we do not have such a thing as a Tao source field available to us. Then we have the potential for some significant blockages. Give me a second here. I'm gonna turn down certain. Okay. And so, what are those significant blockages that we have to battle? And it is a battle. Make no no uh, no kidding about that. Life 
would be wonderful if it was all beautiful, but for the most part, it's filled with a whole lot of, uh, of strife and difficulty. And so that is as a result, as indicated in the beginning of this conversation, of our soul and its, um, its many, many experiences, including those of our ancestors, which impact this experience. Collectively, they bring into this world what we now call life. Your life is different than my life. We all have our own life. The Tao source field allows us to traverse the minefield of life without actually stepping on the mines. Um, think of it like um, something that, that goes across the minefield of your life because you have no idea what's coming up in front of you unless you're a very clear seer. You don't know uh, uh, that potential accident that could could be waiting for you a year and a half from now. You don't know about the potential job shift that may be a positive but might look like a negative in the beginning. You don't know about the potential relationship scenarios that could happen, both positive and negative on all sides. We're unable to see our future, especially the unpleasant parts of our future. And we believe that we're in control of our future um, based on you know, doing the right things, saying the right things, paying my bills on time, going to work, making money, doing the best I can. But from the spiritual world's perspective, there is so much more at play than the, than the groundwork that we're playing with down here. It's the groundwork that we're playing with down here that feels so much like suffering. Uh, always a relationship pain, always a financial blockage, or always a, a, a you know a blockage at the work, or some kind of physical pain or suffering. This is our physical world dilemmas. And they're very real to us. From the soul world perspective, it's it's more of a drama, because from the soul world's perspective, it can be resolved relatively simply by raising our frequencies, raising our vibration, and so towards that end, uh, heaven in the duration of time that we can document has sent forth beings of light uh, beloved jesus beloved mother mary all the saints uh, before and after them then we have buddha we have happy buddha medicine buddha we have kuan yin we have krishna we have uh, so many beings of light muhammad you name them there's probably another 30 that can be named in various cultures around the world that are beings of light that have come with a message which is, this is what you do to elevate your frequency. They don't say it in those words. This is what you do to release the blockages that are um, causing suffering in your life. And so you have the Ten Commandments as an example, or you have the scriptures of the Quran as another example, or you have the, uh, the 48 vows of Buddha as another example. There's these various written examples of how do we release the suffering so that we um, uh, can return to the highest stages of enlightenment. A Tao source field is so much more potent than words. Words are guidance and tools. My words, they're guidance and tools. Words from a book are guidance and tools. Words from the Bible, guidance and tools. They assist us with making higher and better choices, which have the end result of raising our frequency versus lowering them, which negativity would accomplish. And so they serve a purpose, but the purpose that they serve is step by step by step. It requires our personal activity. It requires our personal consciousness. It requires our willingness to, to actively watch our thoughts, watch our words, watch our actions, ask for forgiveness each time we make mistakes. It requires us to do the legwork which makes us a better soul. And that, of course, inhibits additional karma from being generated and it cleans off the old stuff, all of which has the end result of elevating our soul standing which is the same as elevating our frequency. A soul standing is a, is a level of vibration. A soul standing is a level of frequency. Those that whose soul is sitting in their heart center or above have reached the first level of enlightenment, which according to my teacher, when he asked the divine, you know, how many souls in humanity are enlightened? Uh, approximately 15%. That means that 85% of us, our souls are not uh, sitting in our heart center. We are, we, uh, we are not um, service 
to others. We are more service to self is a good way to put it. And so in this uh, building up of what is a Tao source field, we have to have the baseline understanding. The baseline understanding meaning you are a soul having a physical experience. And these physical experiences have uh, many, many beautiful joy, joys and wonderments and great possibilities along with many, many sufferings. The idea, the ideal scenario for each one of us is to be just joyful and happy and trouble free and never have a problem the rest of our life and always have a smile on our face and never have financial worries. Everything is just hunky dory in all our relationships. Our physical body is a pure, clean vessel. We can eat whatever we want, never get fat, eat whatever we want, never get sick. We can walk into uh, uh, any environment, never be harmed by it. This would be the ideal, right? It sounds like a fairy tale story. It isn't for those that have a higher frequency. It is not for those that operate in a Tao source field. There are those before us that have accomplished this task. We know them by name. We know Jesus, we know Buddha, we know Kuan Yin, we know Mother Mary. We know these great beings because they have preceded us and they said you can do the same thing. But we're out here on earth beating our heads going, how do we do this? Watching people like Master Paul trying to figure out how to break this mold so that we could actually have an enjoyable life and not suffer. We can create our own Tao source field in increments, in steps, and we can also literally bring ourselves physically into one. We can bring our soul into one. We can uh, do the, this. Actually, it's here on Earth. It's here now. These 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 things are available. It's pretty astounding. Um, so, the what is a Tao source field? Part of the question is. Just a moment. I want to acknowledge some folks here. Welcome, Wendy Brown. Welcome, Kiram Marknum. Welcome, Rebecca Gray. Aloha. Welcome to Rochelle Tomlins. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with us. Welcome Catherine Narone, aloha. And welcome to Alicia Sosa. And if there's anyone else, welcome Ali. If there's anyone else I, met, I missed, please forgive me. Uh, I haven't seen your name pop in there. Welcome to Master Jolly and also welcome to, um, to uh, Yanan. Welcome Linda, Olivia Montoya. And welcome Tony Seymour. So we can physically bring ourselves into a Tao source field. We can bring things to us that create a Tao source field. But now we must understand what is a Tao source field. So we go back now. We have the first piece of the foundation. We come in, we come in with all of our stuff and life is, is about getting rid of all the stuff and having as much joy as possible. So we apply all the wisdom, the techniques, uh, everything we can wrap our brain around and practice with, and yet it's still incremental at best. So now we say, okay, well, what is a Tao source field then? It starts with an uh, understanding of science. Science resonates and acknowledges. Uh, and yesterday, if you didn't get a chance to watch my live stream, uh, I spoke about this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science System, and a teacher that's coming um, over the weekend, uh, Dr. Master Rulin Shu. And she'll be talking about this book and her new one that has been written with Master Shah. Extraordinary. Uh, but I divest. Go back and watch that from yesterday. Um, it was good information for you. Science has validated that everything in life is made up of energy and matter as far as they can tell, okay? And it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, the word Tao is a word that represents that which created everything, that which created heaven and mother earth, that which created all things. It's not a God, it's just a word that represents original uh, source from which all things are created. So a Tao field would carry that frequency. Think about that for a second. 
Dow field would carry original source creation frequency before energy and matter was created. Just just wrap your mind around that for a minute, okay? Because if you, if you can really work with that, then you'll start to have a very good understanding why you want to place your physical being in a Tao field. Um, but let's go back. So science has validated that everything is made up of energy and matter. And so let's look at what that means. So this tapestry behind me, that's made up of energy and matter. The paint that went on that tapestry is made up of energy and matter. The chair you're sitting on, the cell phone you're watching me through, the computer you're watching me through, it's all made up of energy and matter. Is your cell phone that you're watching me through vibrating right now? Can you see all the energy and matter going blah, 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 blah. Can you see that in your cell phone? I can't. I can't see that in the picture behind me. But it is vibrating. It has already been validated. It is not even something you can question. Everything is vibrating at a very specific frequency. In the 1920s, there was a man named Dr. Royal Raymond Reif that um, invented the cure for cancer. Very, very simple uh, for, for him anyway. And uh, it was using frequencies and he, nobody could see parasites and, and viruses and bacteria at those times and our cancer. And um, other than when it was dead, they put it under a microscope and it was uh, the light just to see it would kill it. And so he invented a microscope that worked on frequencies. He would adjust the frequencies until the, the bug, the virus or bacteria would vibrate and he would paint it with a, with a, a special solution. And then that would capture the light instead of having an actual light. And for the first time ever in the 20s, he was able to see a virus, which they believed existed, but had never actually seen when operating. He then realized that you could devitalize the virus by altering the frequency because he understood the basic physics that everything in all life from beginning to end is frequencies. You have to grasp this. Maybe you know it. Maybe you know it 20%, 50%, 100%. But regardless, you must know it 100% before you can appreciate the value of what is a Tao source field. So everything in life from the rock all the way up to our original creator has frequency. Everything. There is nothing that doesn't vibrate. I will say it one more time. The TV you're watching me through, the computer, the cell phone, the, um, the, the, the solid carrot that you're eating, it does not matter. If you put it under a microscope, it's going It is not solid. There is nothing in our existence that is solid. It just, just appears that way to our five senses, okay? And this leads into the next part of the understanding. The concept of solid, the concept of proof and validation, the concept of um, I see it when I believe it, or I'm going to cross my arms and we'll see if this works, I don't know kind of stuff. This is all ego-based, but it's built on the five senses that we acknowledge. Since seven billion of us have the five senses, it must be real, must be true. There's a, quite a few that have additional senses that haven't been validated by science or seven billion people aren't doing it, so therefore it must not be true. Well, that's not the wisest perspective, but we have to work with what we have. I went through the whole process of my five senses trying to validate if the stuff I'm sharing with you is real and you know the, the blessings that are offered, do they really you know reverse significant pain, things like that? The answer is yes, it does. But it took me a while with my five sense comprehension to remove my mind blockages, open my heart, and align to the higher wisdom that everything comes from source. And source is always present. This is the next important step to understand. Your beloved creator <laughs> is more present than you can possibly understand. The, your, your creator is so present that if you truly align to creator, which you could do in a moment, I know it's possible. I haven't even gotten close to it. If we, any of us, could just align to our creator, boop, we're, we're done, We've, we're enlightened. It could happen instantaneously. Very hard though, because of our belief in, as somebody put on the line, the matrix. Many different names for this physical world experience we're having. The key with the Tao source field is how do we remove the suffering 
as quickly as possible, as painlessly as possible. How can I make my life less miserable, please? Sign me up. That's what everybody wants. So we get from here to there through a series of understandings which allow us to open our mind, open our heart, and then we can physically take our soul or our physical body and surround it with the Tao for Source Field willingly, purposefully, because we go through the understanding processes first. So we're still wrapping up that part. So everything has a vibration. And in this vibrational understanding, we know very clearly that vibrations heal and vibrations kill. They can do any number of things. Vibrations can make beautiful forms. They can make very unpleasant forms. Darkness and all things negative have very low vibrational frequencies. And this again is scientifically validated. Vibrational fields that have very high vibrational frequencies to the human's eyes look quite beautiful. And so with our five senses, we can actually see these differences in vibrational fields as well. As mentioned the other day, you cannot see your cell phone signal, but you have enough validation that you don't question that some invisible, invisible vibrational frequency is traveling through the airwaves and it is functional and working. You don't question the cell phone and its functionality, but how many of you question if it's creating cancer in the human body? I don't know if it is or not, but I encourage everybody to question if it's not a healing frequency, what is it then? Because every frequency can either harm or help the human cell. The human cell has a frequency, just like your cell phone has a frequency, just like the chair you're sitting on has a frequency, and so does the virus and the bacteria and the parasite. Everything has a frequency. The Tao Source Fields frequency is way up here, and we're coming to that. But in order to uh, work with this, we have to recognize where our frequency imbalances are. When we um, bring a beautiful song into our environment, it calms us down. Your cells start vibrating more in unison to the original source. Your cells, my cells, every cell, every speck of energy, every speck of matter came from original source. Some call it source, some call it creator, some call it Tao, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Every speck of energy, every speck of matter comes from original source and it carries that original innate vibrational frequency. It is like a homing pigeon. It knows exactly what is home. So every cell in your body knows what home looks like. It knows, it knows how to find its way back home. There is not a single speck of creation that doesn't have that homing beacon built into it with the frequency of original creator. When we bring ourselves into a Tao source field, when a Tao source field comes to us, we are in essence giving our, um, our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body a bath, a bath in its original bath water. Uh, it's like the fish knows it's out of water. When you put the fish in water, it has no clue that it's in water because this is just the way it's supposed to be. Well, we are all fish out of water in this life, uh, seven billion of us out of water, searching as much as we can for the answer. Everybody's saying, I'm right, I'm right, he's right, he's right, he's wrong, he's wrong. I'm not right, I'm not wrong. This is one possible direction that if it resonates with you, if it makes sense to your soul at the soul level, then it probably has value for you. And if it doesn't, then find a teacher where it does resonate for you. This is wisdom that is scientifically validated and provable even by the five senses once you put yourself in the field. Now there are different ways to accomplish that. The harder ways are getting beat up over the head and consciously mind-based making choices to do something different, which doesn't always work because if there was no lesson learned, no experience uh, um, that was uh, learned in such a way where, okay, I'm, I'm not going to want that again, so I better do forgiveness practice around this because I have recognition that I might have created this structure that I'm not enjoying. In other words, if there's no lesson learned to even do that, Changing your mind about things isn't going to keep it from coming back and whacking you over the head again. So that's the hard way of doing things. 
Then we have the little bit easier way of doing things, which great teachers have brought to us. Ask for forgiveness, offer love, do unconditional service, serve as many souls as you can. These definitely help elevate our frequency, definitely help uplift our soul standing, definitely shift our vibrational, personal vibrational frequency, and we will have a little bit less suffering the more and more of that that we do. This is what the great teachers bring to us. In the history of time, very, very few recordings in history talk about Tao fields, source fields being brought to earth. So this part of the information is where I'm going to start stepping on a few uh, toes, possibly a few perspectives, going to open up a few minds because this part of the presentation now goes into an area that few may have an understanding of. And you're going to have to take a leap of faith with the five senses that you have to see if you're willing to taste the pear and see if it's actually sweet. At this time in history, the source has brought into earth very, very uh, tangible, five, five, five element, uh, five sense tangible Tao source fields and has brought them to humanity to serve humanity, to serve the plant life, to serve the animals, to serve Mother Earth. This world, this uh, place we all live in, it's a mess. And as much as I'd like to sit on the sidelines, because I don't like doing politics, I don't like, um, I really don't like anything that, that, that I see out there, but I also don't like being involved in it because part of my consciousness recognizes that if I if I say yes this is wrong this is negative then I'm producing more of a you know I hate this negative experience which is not going to be the best approach either the highest best most pure approach is one of, of unconditional love for all souls regardless of what appears at the external surface not an easy state to be in but that's the the ideal state to be in so I strive for that the Tao source field is frequencies brought to humanity through other beings that came from that realm. Everybody has heard of uh, crystal children, um, indigo children, uh, you know, all of the, the special kids that are coming in. And no one questions their um, abilities or their purity or their uniqueness, their specialness, the wisdom that they have, it's just like, it's not questionable, right? Because they're children and they're young, two, three, four, five years old, and they're already doing miraculous things. So how can you question that, right? But our monkey minds, our five senses, question if I say something like, Dr. and Master Shah uh, is a Tao source messenger that can bring down frequencies from the source and put it in humanity. Then the mind goes, oh, I don't know about that. What makes him so special? Well, he was a kid once, right? He was one of those indigo children. He uh, had very unique experiences like those crystal children that we have today. But because he is an adult now, we question the, the, um, you know, the realness of something like that. Well, those children today that are the light bearers, the wisdom bearers, those that are bringing in the new age of love, they will be 50, 60, 70 year old adults 50, 60 years from now, right? The difference is our perspective will be respectful towards them because we're not so jaded. The reason we have a jaded perspective in general now is because of the great vast negativity that is engulfing the planet. It is coming through the airwaves. It is coming through everything. It is the opposite of a Tao source field. The negativity that permeates our society in, in, in sex trafficking, in, in child pornography, in all things politics, in all things war, in all things oil, all things chemicals, all things pharmaceuticals, you name it, there's not a faction where there's massive, massive amounts of negativity. For the average individual like you and me that's trying to wake up to the spiritual path, it, it brings a question mark. It requires us to go, hmm, I'm not sure, because of the vast amount of negativity. But if we can stop and recognize that source creation 
exists and source creation has sent very special beings including all these crystal children all the indigo messengers and the soul master Shah then we can start to understand that source can also bring to humanity a Tao source field so now I'm going to tell you very specifically what is a Tao source field it is the transmission of the frequencies from those highest layers of creation onto the physical plane where we are on we are very comfortable for the most part saying I'm you know this is third dimensional we're in the third dimension we're moving into fourth some say fifth sixth again just you know semantics everyone's got a perspective but most of us would be in agreement that we're in the third dimension and that we're moving up so with that as a base how many dimensions are there? Where is the top of source? No one has an answer for that. But we do know that heaven is above us. We know that much. We know that heaven has a far higher frequency than down here. So if I can have any frequency that comes from upstairs and I can have it here and I can validate it with my five senses, I'm willing to check it out. This is what I'm asking you to open your mind and your heart to. Heaven has brought these kinds of frequencies to earth. I'm not talking scalar frequencies. I'm not talking um, wands. I'm not talking uh, uh, um, Reiki. I'm not talking these. I'm talking about source frequencies. What's the difference between that and these things that we know about down here? Source frequencies are before, this is very important, source frequencies are before the manifestation of energy and matter that creates the yin yang world that we're in okay the yin yang world that we're in is a creation of energy and matter that is coagulated into form this form is what we play our game in this form is what we suffer in it is yin and yang it is the, the culmination of all of the spiritual virtue and spiritual debt of all of our lifetimes. Source frequency is outside of that. Therefore, it is not encumbered by these lower level frequencies that our playground is in. So think about it from that perspective. If you went into that kind of a light frequency, the, it would almost be impossible for the body to, to withstand it. It would just dissolve. How can, um, how can, what's a good physical world example? Um, trying to think of something that dissolves the minute you put it in there, okay? I, I really can't think of a good example at the moment. Um, I'll come out with one, but it's probably not going to be the best. There is a bacteria that eats oil. They, you know, put an oil slick in the water in the petri dish, drop in bacteria, oil's gone in like 10 minutes. It just dissolves. Um, in other words, the higher frequency just gobbled up the lower frequency. When we bring our dense third dimensional frequency into a higher frequency field, Thank you for this uh, Alka-Seltzer sugar. Good examples. You know, putting in water, they dissolve. Same thing. Um, we are literally dissolving. We're, what are we dissolving? Whatever we request. Okay? I want to bring balance to the very, very painful relationship I'm having with my spouse. Uh, I'm, I've had back pain for 30 years. I really want to dissolve this back pain. I have had significant financial issues forever. Ah, if you could fix the finances, I'm all in, right? So we have just a myriad of sufferings that, that you know, take two days to write them all down. And we have the limited third dimensional solutions that we're all scrambling to find the best variation of so we can stop the suffering and have more fun in this thing called life. And a Tao source field has been brought to humanity. There are variations of this Tao source field that have been brought to humanity. So I'm going to share with you some variations. Again, this is information. Information is only that. Wisdom is the choice to act upon the information. Experience is what happens when you apply the wisdom to act upon the information. Okay? So unless you apply the wisdom to act upon what is being shared with you, you will not know if it really works.
there may very well be multiple beings of light at the level of Master Shah, and I just don't know about them. And I'm not putting him on a pedestal or iconizing him or saying he's God or anything like that. I'm saying he's no different than any other indigo children that have come that have very special characteristics, very special beings. I could go into his whole backstory to validate that. Do your own homework. Get your own wisdom. It's there. I'm not here nine years later espousing this because, you know, I've been rolled over a, a, a coal of, of, of BS. I'm speaking from a place of validation. I used my five senses. I witnessed uh, people's frequencies being elevated and their sufferings dissolving for nine years. No more questioning in my world. This is your turn. Okay. So a Tao source field has been brought to earth for the last 18 years. And the field has been getting elevated almost on a daily basis because uh, everything can find its way back home to source creator, including an individual. We are all on our way to enlightenment. But some of those beings that come in uh, are given a bit of a faster boost. And our beloved Jesus, how many times was Jesus on earth before Jesus came and was elevated and became, you know, the, the, the one we, we all bow down to with the greatest love and gratitude. Same thing for our beloved Buddha. There are beings of light that get elevated quickly. There are beings of light that are given certain permissions and abilities. This being of light, known as Master Shah, can bring to humanity Tao Source Field. He can put a Tao Source Field into people, objects, and things. Now the most recent version of that is the highest version at least as of today. Now, six months from now, as he is elevated, there will be a new higher version because uh, frequencies can go all the way to original creator. So, this is all, you know, on face value. The lot of you, you've been around with me long enough, you know it's true. You're not even questioning it. There's some of you going, mm, I'm still on the fence. Got it. Totally. Get it. How do you get yourself in front of a Tao source field? There are multiple ways to accomplish it. One is through a piece of music, okay? Music, change your thinking. Remember, the five senses validate. If I can tell you, you take a piece of music, you put it on, you have cold, you have flu, you have pain, and you connect to the soul of the music, and you ask that specific music that was blessed to have a Tao source field frequency, and if you actually, with your five senses, felt differently, your pain diminished, that's a five sense. Your ears and your stress diminished, that's using your five senses. And after, let's say, a half hour listening, your cold and flu is cut in half, if not more. You're energized and ready to go out versus being knocked out for two weeks. What does that do to the psyche, right? Anything and everything can have a Tao source field infused into it. Now, this is actually validated not hocus pocus, in math, this is an example of the validation. This is called soul mind body science. This is written by uh, Dr. Ruland Shu and Master Shah. I spoke uh, at length on it yesterday. And without a doubt, it can serve you if you're more of the I gotta understand it kind of a person. In here, uh, uh, this physicist, Master Ruland Shu, uh, explains how, in scientific terms, math, how soul is real, okay, and how frequencies are real, and how higher frequencies can dissolve lower frequencies, thereby creating a, a release of the suffering. Very simple from a physics math perspective, and it's been validated. Now, this is an example of something else that things can be downloaded to. I know it's backwards in your image, but um, this is called a Tao source calligraphy. And Master Shah has been putting Tao source field energy into calligraphy for years and literally well over a thousand people documented saying I have received less suffering, a removal of my suffering by working with these Tao source calligraphies. It's just a piece of paper with black ink on it guys. The five senses might have difficulty with that. Yes, it's just a piece of paper with black ink on it, but it was uh, empowered it was transmitted frequency was taken from the source and brought into this third dimension and placed onto that piece of paper with the black ink on it therefore 
it is no longer operating at our third dimensional frequency. We literally can put ourselves into a Tao source field by bringing these calligraphies into our world. That's just one example. The song I just mentioned, Love, Peace, and Harmony, you heard me sing it earlier. Many of you know about this. You've already self-validated that it helps you to feel better. How do we keep ourselves in a constant Tao source field, which in essence is a safety zone, a zone in which our soul is constantly having the highest possibility of elevation, a, a, a zone in which we have the highest possibility of releasing pain and suffering, a zone in which we have the highest possibility of joy and happiness. How do we maintain that field, right? You have, you have a conscious choice. It requires you to release some of the mindsets. Well, you know, this, this, this Master Paul guy is talking all about this Master Shah guy, and I don't like following anything. You know, sounds a little bit like this, sounds a little bit like that. That's the monkey mind. Everything is validated through the five senses, and it's been doing it for 20 years. You just need to catch up. That's the only difference. So how? So put it in your house 24-7. Love, peace, and harmony. Play it in your car. Play it at work. Give it a test. Sit down, write down every problem you have, including every coworker, every financial thing, every relationship thing, every health issue. Write all the crap down. Write it all the bad stuff down. Make an agreement to play it 24-7 for 30 days. And just do one other thing, which is ask for forgiveness for harming any souls in all times, a couple times a day, just a few minutes from your heart. I, I can really apologize for harming, you know, all souls in all lifetimes. I will do better. Okay, a couple times a day. You do that for 30 days. If you don't come out the other end and your five senses are unable to validate shift, then there's no such thing as a Tao source field. How is it possible that just by playing music you can do this? Because it's heaven's frequency and it's dissolving our crud we it's just like dissolving the salt dissolving the sugar that was mentioned earlier our crud is that salt our crud is that sugar our crud is that alka-seltzer these are these are our crud higher frequencies dissolve it but we must step into the field first master shah has brought this with the greatest love and no conditions whatsoever with the masters, like I, you know, I had to pay, I had to pay a thousand dollars for my first healing, um, and my first healing transmission, so I could serve. He said, "I don't want your money." He said, "Go buy a bunch of books, give the books away, teach people how to self heal." Does that sound like a master that's interested in in having uh, uh, money, in having his name spread all over the world? He's only interested in people waking up and healing themselves, and he empowers them through as many ways as possible. Finally, there is a new opportunity that is being made available in all over the world. And it is extraordinary. I cannot tell you, I'm going to try to tell you, but words will fail. Okay. At this last retreat, as always, he is receiving uh, elevation. As always, uh, his frequencies uh, to serve are coming higher and then the, the frequencies he's given the authorities to transmit to physical objects on the three-dimensional level have increased and uh, he's been doing these calligraphies called Tao Oneness calligraphies for about five years now and this last retreat everything changed about the Tao source calligraphy it's always looked like what I showed you the Chinese characters can have up to 24 separate uh, uh, notations where they're just lines going different directions uh, he has received a method through which he connects all of them in one stroke called Tao Oneness Calligraphy. Beautiful, very beautiful to even look at. The power in them is what really matters. But at this last retreat, a new one is released. And the Tao, which I've taught many times before uh, in some of the live streams, with the Oneness Circle is creation and reverse creation. So from one, from the Tao, one is created. One is everything. From one, heaven and earth. That's two. From two, three is made. That's the human being. Tao is at the top, human being at the bottom. Heaven and Mother Earth are the mother and father. They're part of the yin-yang world that we're in the middle of suffering in. Okay. Then there's reverse creation. Going back from human being, 
uh, raising our frequencies, doing our part, elevating our frequencies, aligning our frequency to Mother Earth's frequency, aligning our frequencies to Heaven's frequency, and eventually aligning our frequency to Source frequency. That's in a circle. What this teacher has brought is the shortcut. It's the elevator from down here straight up. Not the circle, not the long way. He brought the elevator. He said, let's see if we can make it a little bit easier for as many human beings as possible, as many that are willing to wake up. I will bring them all of these tools, all of these uh, source-based frequency instruments. I'll put it in books, objects, things, songs. I will give them as many ways as possible to surround themselves with the highest frequencies possible. And they'll basically go straight up. Not the let's get our butt kicked on the way back home path. Anybody want to sign up for that? I don't. That's why I'm following this teacher because he's very sharp and he's making my suffering a lot less. These Tao source fields are the newest creation and the calligraphies are extraordinary. <clears throat> they are being, he, he created them all already. There's 40 plus very unique calligraphies that are being distributed at nine centers on the planet. These nine centers Give me a moment. Uh, we'll have these fields. Literally, if, you're, if your spiritual eye was open, it would look like this massive city-wide column of light coming directly from heaven into that location. No kidding. <clears throat> you do not, I repeat, you do not have to be in person for you to receive Tao Source Field blessings. You do not. Uh, how many of you, show of hands, how many of you have received a blessing from me via this medium and received a result? 2,000 miles away, on webcast, somewhere in the world, whatever your time zone is, show of hands, so happy faces, how many people have received a blessing and it worked? Yeah, starting to see the page light up now. <clears throat> there has been zero question about efficacy of this type of blessing at a distance. And the, and the frequencies that I'm working with are nominal. <clears throat> the frequencies of the Tao Chung, beyond extraordinary. Beyond, 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 beyond extraordinary. They're the highest frequencies, from my understanding, that can be found on Earth today. They are by far some of the fastest frequencies that can cause shift in your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual uh, places where there could be imbalance. Uh, that's from witness and experience as well. So in order to receive these benefits, all you have to do is sign up to attend somewhere in those nine places via the webcasts. Each one of the centers are offering this. The first one is being offered on the 17th and the 18th this month through Master Maya's location in Belgium. And uh, the honor fee is very, very reasonable. It's a two-day Dao Chong retreat. They've never done a Dao Chong retreat. It's the first of its kind. And basically, you're going to be, you know, em enmeshed in a field for those days. <clears throat> then you'll have an opportunity to receive blessings for very specific things in your world. I tell you, uh, when this was released about three or four weeks ago, I was scrambling, scrambling. To, to get as many as I could. I've done this nine years. I'm not a fool. I know what a, a good deal is. Uh, I was scrambling to get as, as many blessings as I could because of the, the frequency was so high, it was just washing away my suffering instantly. That's a Tao source field. So I hope this explanation has served you well. I hope you have a good understanding of how life is built on frequencies and because we're in our third dimension with our five senses we think we have a good understanding of things 
but there is a source creator and that source creator has sent many beings of light to service is still sending many many millions of beings of light to service some of those beings of light came 60 years ago and they're doing miraculous level stuff on behalf of our source creator and those environments have been brought to earth the last 20 years in the books in the cds in the music in the uh, all the different ways it has been brought to us in the Tao source calligraphies and now in the Tao source field. Okay, so if you know of anybody that is suffering in any way, do not worry about their perceptions, do not worry about what they may or may not think, just sign them up. Okay, just tell them to shut up and fork over the 50 or 100 bucks or whatever it is and just. Close their trap and at the end of the two days, then make a decision if it's for them or not. Because at the end of that period of time, it's highly likely they'll feel a whole lot better. That might not have been the best way to express this, but you know, we're dealing with mindsets and attitudes and beliefs that are built on dogma. They're built on five senses. That person's soul journey, their health and wellness cannot afford ignorance. And if it requires you, to love them so much that you sign them up, you love them so much that you don't let them get away with an ignorant response, they will thank you afterwards because the potential of their life being saved is very high. And so that's a service that you can do of your own accord. <clears throat> thank you for this opportunity to express my understanding of what is a Tao source field. I hope you have a greater understanding of it at this point in time. Kristen has made many different posts of different uh, ways in which you can surround yourself with the Tao Source field. As a master teacher, I do have uh, similar abilities and authorities to offer these blessings. I can work with the masters at the center and ask them to offer you the Tao Source blessings so you can connect with me if you'd like to and I can be the initiator of those on your behalf. <clears throat> it doesn't have very many limits, guys. It, ha it works for pretty much most of the conditions you have going on uh, organ systems body parts any sort form of, s of suffering um, so there's very few conditions it's not going to serve so if you are interested let me know I'm happy to serve you uh, Kristen just posted my contact information thank you Kristen you're awesome uh, tomorrow is Thursday tomorrow is uh, the last day of this week that I will be offering uh, the live streams for this week so I will see you tomorrow and I encourage you to attend this weekend's workshop on soul mind body science <clears throat> if it's not already posted in the live stream then um, it will be shortly thank you again Kristen for doing that and um, tell others about this thank you for sharing as well love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you to all the beings of light divine Tao source all that came to offer the service today gong song gong song gong song Bye-bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.